In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we continue our look at how to maximize the usefulness of the Theme Designer. We're going to look in this particular tutorial at music and how you can customize the music inside the Theme Designer to achieve your objectives. In earlier tutorials, we've shown you more about how to set up the Theme Designer and other customizations you can make, and so we'll have a link to that in case you'd like to get that information. So what do we do with music? Well, I have a particular theme selected here, and I've populated everything I need. And if I press the play key, I will hear the default music that comes with this particular theme. What I'd like to do is look at my options regarding the music. So we're going to look at the very upper right corner, and I have a box called background music and the option that's set is, is called default first page. Click on the down arrow and now I'm going to choose my preferences option. This opens up my background music preferences screen. There are several pieces of information that are very important. The first is I have an abbreviated path to the actual music file that comes with this theme. I cannot change it, but it informs me as to what it is. Then I have a bar that allows me to trim the audio. I can set an in point or an out point. I can shorten it, and I'll see that reflected in the duration. You notice the duration numbers change. Now, the thing that you have to remember is this does not control the duration at which the music plays. It's the duration of the loop of the music. The music will loop until it's done, until it reaches the very end of your theme. So if I shorten it, it doesn't mean that the music stops and I have a, a time of silence. So you have to remember that when you're using these to shorten it. You also have, besides an in and out, uh, you have the option of changing the overall volume by dragging the mouse on this slider. The third thing that you have is you have the music audio level between the video and the music. So if you have a video where you want to make sure that the music does not overpower the audio inside the video, you take the slider and move it to the right. Or if you want to make sure that the music dominates or there is no audio that you have to worry about in the video clips that you have, you move it to the left or you can leave it balanced in the middle. So that's a way to change the relative balance between those two elements when you finally produce the product and put it on the timeline. So that's the preferences screen that you have. I'm going to cancel out of that without any changes. And now I'd like to show you some other things that you can do to adjust your music. I'm going to click on the down arrow again, and this time I can click on no music. Now I don't see any changes, but now it means that when this goes onto the timeline, there will be no music whatsoever. Now this is good if you want to take the music that you've got elsewhere and add it on the tracks above or below this particular component in your timeline. This would be a, a good thing to do, for example, if you want to use multiple music clips, not just one. Or if you would like to customize your music in another way, it gives you the maximum control over the kind of music people hear when they see what the theme produces. So that would be your option if you want absolute total control of music. I would turn it off and use this option. Another option you have is what's called download. Let's see what happens when we click on that. When I click on download, it takes me to the background music that I have as part of my copy of PowerDirector. So I can take any of these musical pieces, and your list will vary from mine, and click on it, and click on OK. And now it will take that particular music clip and that will be the new one. So I'm going to move my playhead back to the beginning and we'll play it. So I have a completely different music clip, but here I have one that was provided through PowerDirector, one that's part of my 
current installation and adaptation. I might have gotten it through a starter pack. I might have gotten it through some kind of supplement, but that's where that music came from. Now, if I don't have some music in that category in my copy of PowerDirector, I have a third option. I click on the down arrow again, and I click on Imported. That will take me to my file system, and I can go ahead and click on any audio file that I have anywhere in my file system, and now that will be my music for my theme designer for this particular production. So those are some of the options that you have when it comes to music. If I click back at any time and if I, I want to go back to the default, I can simply click there. And now I will be back at what was built into that particular theme by the designers of PowerDirector. The theme designer will take the music that you've had and if the music is shorter than the length of the product, it will loop it and it will end by turning the volume down softly at the very end. So those are some of your options in customizing the background music when you use the theme designer in PowerDirector.